Actually, before I start, I've got to do something. Some people with OCD have been having a bit of a problem with that rear headrest that in my past few videos has been constantly up. So to make them a bit happier and get them over their stress, I thought it'd be best to put it down. Right, let's go. I haven't done a video for a bit. Unfortunately, my cat button passed away over the weekend. And um, <clears throat> this week I haven't really been in the mood to do any videos. Uh, but anyway, today I thought I'd hook up the cameras and uh, discuss something that I wanted to talk about for a while actually. I think that the Focus RS has upset a lot of people, especially those owners with more expensive cars uh, doing the same sort of thing, you know, fast hatchbacks and they probably paid considerably more money. I'm not naming any names but you know possibly German cars maybe. And it's just funny because the comments that I get are hilarious sometimes and I just laugh and I think I don't know how people have come up with this and I, I was talking about one the other day was people were talking about my age but I hear all sorts of stuff about the RS itself and it's as if they can't get over that actually this is a really good car and so what I wanted to do today was be honest because I'm always honest you know if I don't like something I say I don't like it if I really like something I say I like it you know, and I've told you how the car is. I haven't lied about the fuel consumption, whatever. I've been very open. And so today what I wanted to do was cover... Oh, there's some pops. What I wanted to do today was cover the problems that I've had with the car. So since I got it, I've had the car for nine months and I thought this would be a really good opportunity to say, here you go, right, these are the problems I've had with the car so far in my nine months some really bad drivers today. Right, now I'm going to reveal how many problems I've had with the car. I've made a list and I'm going to run through them with you now. This is how many problems I've had with the car. Oh no, sorry. That's fake. That was just for my thumbnail for the video. Here's the real number of problems I've had with the car. Ready? Ta da Yes, a big fat zero. I haven't had any problems with this car at all. Maybe a good time to do a launch control. So there you have it. I, I haven't had any problems. I haven't had to take it to the dealer for anything. Okay, I had the audio upgrade done because it wasn't very good but that's just how it left the factory and obviously they've just improved it and it's much better now but I haven't actually had anything wrong because what makes me laugh is <laughs> according to people online the rear drive unit should have eaten itself by now it shouldn't exist remember I've been on four track days my rear drive unit is fine I've been using drift mode around the track I have had zero problems other people say that the, the, the brakes should have caught fire by now. And that's a new one to me. I didn't know Brembo made fiery brakes. But apparently the brakes should have caught fire. The dashboard should have fallen to pieces by now as well. It's just ridiculous what people say. This has actually been an incredibly reliable car. When I had my Toyota before this, and Toyota, Jesus, Toyota is supposed to be like one of the most reliable brands in the world. I had no end of problems with that Toyota. I was at the dealer maybe once a month, twice a month, for different issues, different issues. It was very frustrating, very, very annoying, and I just thought, wow. And with my Golf, when I had the Golf, I was always back and forth with the dealer. I had quite a lot of problems with the Golf. And this, nothing. Nine months of hard use, because this car is earning its keep. Nine months, and it hasn't, it hasn't skipped a beat. It's been rock solid, and it's been rock solid on tracks. And even when I've been going round and round the racetrack, no fade in the brakes, nothing. Oh, okay, tyre wear. I've had tyre wear, which you expect. But even then I was surprised how long the tyres lasted. So there you go. People online seem to like to bring this car down for whatever reason, maybe because they're brand snobs or whatever it is. But actually, at the end of the day, this is a really good car. And it's incredibly 
reliable. I know some people said that they've had a little noise or something from the pillar here, the B pillar, um, and some other little things, but okay, some cars are going to have an issue. Personally, I haven't had anything. I was really thinking today, I thought, have I actually had something and not actually realized or not let it bother me? But I haven't, because if it's a new car, I just go and take, the dealer's around the corner from where I live, I can just go and take it, it's not even a problem. So, so there you have it. For all you that think that the rear drive unit's rubbish and that the brakes are fiery and the dashboard should be creaking and falling apart, well, I'm afraid it's not. It's all holding together. Hopefully I haven't just put my foot in it. Well, that's my video for today. I just want to do a quick one really just to keep the ball rolling because otherwise you get out of the habit of doing videos and it's really hard to start again. Hope you like the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did, please. I think it really helps to get YouTube to share it. So that'd be really helpful. And um, yeah, and I'll see you very soon.